All right, so I flew from Nigeria to Ghana uh, with the intention of meeting with the two top directors in Ghana. Uh, these two directors, they were, uh, their movies were doing so well. Anything they shot went viral. Sickness. I was really probing because I was getting alarmed. Why are people dying left and right around these people? You know, and there are other stories of death I haven't even shared for the sake of time. Spirit that this girl's death is related to his movie but i didn't fully understand what that ministration was uh, i was spiritually blind when i leave this microphone and i step out there i am being treated as a nigerian whatever resentments people have towards nigerians they have it towards me regardless of if i have spoken about it or not of course you may see comments here at the comment section of people telling me oh we love you we believe in you it doesn't pass there in reality if some of these people don't know me when i go out there and they want to deal with me, they will deal with me in accordance with the Nigerian mindset to understand. So we are all in this together. When I do these videos, don't get mad. Let us find a way out. It's not right. This is too much. The impression of Ghana. Ah, she be on a safe for Ghana. They know they rape women. She be on a safe for Ghana. They know they do anyhow. But this guy was here. And you will be wondering why other African nations don't want to associate with us freely. They love our music. They want to enjoy it. And some people are willing to do so from a distance. I was looking for this babe. I didn't know that she have, you know, sometimes our actresses, you just don't understand what is going on, what is happening. And a lot of people have come out of Nollywood to tell us the demonic things that do go down there in Nollywood, but we don't believe them. Hi beautiful people welcome back to another video and i appreciate you for tuning in to see this one if you are new to my youtube channel hi my name is lillian and this is a reaction video this video is trending right now on youtube and i feel like i need to speak because of course these videos keep finding me I'm not looking for these videos, but for whatever reasons, YouTube will introduce a video of this nature to me. And when I click, I'll have no choice but to sit down and talk about these videos. And a lot of people usually misunderstand me. Take it easy on me when you see me do content of this sort. It has nothing to do with me hating my country. Nigeria is an amazing country. And of course, a country that gave me life, a country that taught me how to be resilient a country that taught me survivor a country that i still have all my life in my mother and my siblings as and of course my precious community my hometown and of course the amazing people of my hometown and of course incredible nigerians that have made global impacts are all from nigeria i have nothing against my country but the truth is sometimes issues comes up and i feel like we should talk about them the more i live in ghana as a nigerian the more i get to understand why being a Nigerian in Ghana because so many things happens a lot of people sees you differently from what you are when I came new to Ghana I was very confused when I tell some people I'm a Nigerian and there is this <laughs> like this kind of you know as a Nigerian in Ghana you will work so hard you would do all the things that are right yes your neighbors may be able to attest to the fact that you are genuine and honest but for outside of your neighborhood being a nigerian means that a lot of people are simply not attracted to your life because they believe no matter how successful you are because they strongly believe that <laughs> it's all cover up there are other things that you do if you are a lady you go out at night if you are a man you have something hidden that you do aside what you want the world to believe you are doing and i struggled with time to get to understand but the more i live in ghana the more i get to understand why ghanaians don't really respect us our lifestyles are not attracted to them a lot of ghanaians are not attracted to our lifestyles as nigerians they don't care if you like have millions it ends there. Wow, she's rich, he's rich. But there's no nothing special about you. That is because you are a Nigerian. And I struggle to understand that until the more I live here, the more I get to understand 
but this particular story is out there and it is trending right now this video is going viral and as someone that has spent more than four years on youtube i can tell you that next week this video will hit at least a million views and that means one million people watching this video by a nigerian who used to live in ghana and had all these horrible experiences in ghana and in the story she kept on hitting there how she got raped in ghana how a lot of things happened to her how 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 nollywood in ghana happened to her and out of this one million people i do not know how many people are going to watch the video to the end because it's three hours long so i am here to talk about it and of course for the very first time in the history of me reacting to a video i'm going to leave the link of that video in the description box if you want to follow it do so maybe you should do so after hearing from me and my own opinion my take on this all right so i flew from nigeria to ghana uh, with the intention of meeting with the two top directors in Ghana. Uh, these two directors, they were, uh, their movies were doing so well. Anything they shot went viral. And social media was there, but it was not as popular. And, and people didn't, we didn't depend on social media as much as we did now in terms of movies going viral. So yeah, these two directors were doing so well and uh, I wanted to collaborate with them as an actress, as a producer. Uh, before going to Ghana, I was already filming in America. I'm a Nigerian-American. I lived in Houston, Texas, and I was filming uh, what we call Nollywood USA. That is African movies that are filmed in the United States. And I was one of the leading actress faces. I had actually made a name for myself before going to Africa. They used to call me JJ Bonnie back then. So yeah, I flew into Ghana, lodged at my hotel, and I contacted the two directors. And I told them, I am here only for a few days. I would like to meet with them so we can discuss. And uh, they knew me already because, like I said, I'd already made a little name for myself. So they were excited and they were nice about coming to meet with me so we can talk about a movie production collaboration as an actress, as a producer, you know, whatever I can do. And the reason why I left U.S. to go to Africa, to go to Ghana, is because I felt like I had did everything I can do in the Nollywood USA market. I needed to grow beyond that. Uh, I wanted to grow to the point of the other Nollywood actresses that shot in Nigeria and they shot in Ghana and they were known worldwide and they were flying all over the world to film. So I wanted to grow to that level, not just the Nollywood USA um, market. So basically, yeah, I just wanted to grow in my craft. So yeah, I'm at the hotel in Ghana. I'm waiting for the first director. I'm going to call him Kingsley for the sake of privacy. Um, so Kingsley eventually came. I went downstairs, met with Kingsley at the hotel lobby. The hotel had a nice little restaurant and we met there. Before going to meet with Kingsley, I told myself, okay, Joy, you know the game, this entertainment industry, if you appear desperate to the producers and directors, they are going to, some of them are going to misuse you. He was like, oh, people die, it's no big deal. You know, yeah, yeah, she, she got sick, whatever she died. So I was like, no, 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 what happened? Tell me, what was the sickness? I was really probing because I was getting alarmed. Why are people dying left and right around these people? You know, and there are other stories of death I haven't even shared for the sake of time. So Anthony now look at me and, and he got kind of agitated when me are angry. It's like, what's the big deal, Joy? People die. People die. What's the big deal? And I was taken aback a little bit. I was like, why is he, why is he not like sad about this girl dying? And he received it kind of cold. And instead of him relating to me in a consoling way, I'm like, oh yeah, you know, this and this. And this is somebody that was in your movie. In your production like anyway the way he related with me was almost like he was angry at me for probing and so right then 
I received this minute. And I'm like, this is another human being. This is not a chicken that just died. I expected him to be more kind and have more empathy for the dead. But the way he kind of, as if he was angry at me for asking questions. Anyway, right away, I got administration in my spirit that this girl's death is related to his movie. But I didn't fully understand what that administration was. Uh, I was spiritually blind. So the movie was released. This big movie was released. And of course, it was a smash hit. It was everywhere. The theater, the people ate it up. I mean, it was like, wow. Um, it was a hit. That was how it was. Eventually, Anthony came back. And at this point, I was tired of the hotel lifestyle. I knew that Anthony didn't have money to pay the hotels because he was making all these deals undercover and hiding it from me. So I spoke to Anthony. I said, hey, I'm living here. It's going on six months now. Why not get me an apartment? I want to get a, a rented house or an apartment. Then I can also cook because I was tired of eating at a restaurant. I want to be cooking. I want to be doing stuff, home things that you can only do in your home, not at a hotel. Right away, he discouraged me. He's like, no, why would you want to do that? You know, it's more better for us to be in the hotel and everything. One of the reasons that Anthony discouraged me because in the hotel, he was able to monitor me. He was able to know who came, who didn't come. Uh, did I go anywhere? Where did I go? You know, he kept a tab. He used the hotel workers to keep a tab on me. So in my mind, I'm thinking the reason why he didn't want me to get my own apartment or rent a home is because then he can't monitor me. Does she truly know the Gambian president like she claimed she did? Was she playing game? Just things were not right. One day we were told to quickly get dressed. All of us, the superstars, the male and female superstar from Ghana, and myself and you know whoever, that we should quickly get dressed because we are now going to go meet the president tonight, the Gambian president tonight. So quickly we all got ready, we all got dressed, everything. And as I was going out to meet the rest of the crew, Anthony came and like, oh, the meeting has been cancelled again. And at that point, all of us are like, ah, yeah, something is wrong. This is no longer making any sense. Something is wrong. Let's together get ready. And then the, the day we were to go to Ghana, I, I came to the lobby of the hotel and boys were struggling with Anthony. He wanted to put my luggage and some of the other luggage in the car. And the boys at the hotel, the Yankee, like, you're not going anywhere. Nobody's going anywhere. Unless you people pay these bills, nobody is, you know. There was this confrontational atmosphere as if they were about to fight. So I'm, I'm, I'm watching this stuff. Anthony and Ben, they are secretly talking and everything. So apparently they hashed up a plan to distract the hotel people a little bit so they can throw everything in the car. So they did, they carried out their plans as they distracted the hotel workers a little bit, they threw everything in the car. And I remember Anthony telling me, Joy, run, run to the car, run, enter the car, run, run. I'm like, what's going on? I'm running to the car. Everybody's running to the car and the car takes off. We are running. I mean, the car is driving really, really fast. The hotel people enter their own car too. They chased after us. We were all going speeding past uh, those police roadblock everything the hotel. Anthony is trying his best to get me away from my family he has a big pastor they are celebrity pastors in Lagos and then uh, when I stop answering his call he'll call my brother my brother will now call me so as I gave up mentally I felt my body dropping dropping to the floor dropping to the floor in the night of the 20th I went to bed guess what I was fighting with Anthony and Ben. Also, my luggage came from Ghana. You know, I've abandoned everything in Ghana. So at a point, I communicated with Anthony. I said, hey, bring all my luggages. And he did. Of course, things were missing, but I didn't notice till later, later, my underwear, and bra, and some of my clothing were missing. But I'll, I'll review more on that later. 
First, JJ Bonny is an actress in Ghana. I thought she's Ghanaian because all the movies of her were all done in Ghana and they have everything around Ghana. But from her story now, I'm finding out that yes, everything she's talking about is about other Nigerians that she co-worked with in Ghana. And it's just crazy. Now you get to understand why other people don't want us around them. Other people don't want us around them. And as a Nigerian of good behavior, as a Nigerian of good repute, as a hardworking, genuine, honest Nigerian, you are the one that will sit at an airport and cry. And you will come back confused. Why are they hating us? And nobody is willing to tell you the truth. Because if you tell people the truth, it means you hate your country. I do not hate Nigeria. Of course, I love what I see in Ghana. And I wish that my people are maybe like that. But in life, people can be the same. But then, but it does not in any way mean that I hate Nigeria. But I feel like we should talk about things that are happening to us. So I'm going to go off and play a little more from her video and then we'll react. I'm going to watch the video. This reaction video, I'm doing it differently. And because the video is three hours long, I'm going to react to it some, you know, I'm just going to play random parts and come back randomly. But if you would like to see the full video, you can head straight to her channel. I'm going to leave the link in the description to go catch it. Okay. See, when Nigerians are sharing their stories, I've, I believe strongly that if you watch this video, if you know this lady, you will know who she's talking about. And there are so many lessons in this video because as a young person, you are ambitious. You have a lot of things you want to achieve in life. And you feel like the best way to achieve this thing is by getting extra help, maybe spiritually or try to use your brain to dupe other people to be able to achieve this thing these are things that will come and go on head we came empty and empty shall we return no matter what you are buried with the last day you are going to stand before god your maker naked and sack naked with nothing but according to what we are made to believe you're going to wear a white garment and stand before god amen so it means you are buried with it or not it will automatically come on you on that day so why are we doing all of this to our reputation and even rubbishing the reputation of our dear nation you see all these worldly things are not what we destroying the image of our country destroying the image of other people destroying other people's lives to achieve these goals they don't want it first thing i did after doing my research to know who she's referring to because she refused to mention names and i totally get it because she could be sued if she do so so this is her sharing her life and i went to do my research to understand everything so if you want to do your research as well why not jj bonnie used to be a nollywood actress here in ghana and for the fact that she have changed her name of course a lot of people do this when they get born again she changed her name discovering that this guy she's talking about is a nigerian and i am not surprised okay because at some point there were smoke everywhere about the same individual but you know you don't want people are not bold to speak up then because at that time this person still rule the Ghanaian movie scene i mean these people let me just say at that time these people still dominate the movie scenes in ghana and of course all the big budget movies in nigeria and i can say in west africa because they rule the movie i could say in africa and i'm right because they are they were that powerful but where are some of these people today where are some of these people today the, the things that god didn't give to you trust me it will be taken away from you and this is why i keep telling ladies and even our men of course men i think due to societal pressure especially in africa where a man has to be financially responsible for everything a man is seen as the solution the atm machine everything they say and the messiah of his family especially financially and this kind of place a higher burden and pressure on our men it pushed them to go seek extra help get you know these things sorted so they can be respected in the society but women too we do it we do it just that 
sometimes we do this when it comes to wanting to pin a man down and keep him all to ourselves but the truth is whatever the lord god in heaven did not give to you you are never going to be able to sustain it and one day you sit down and realize that with all that i have done in the name of seeking power and affluence and influence all of these things on head what have i done like is it worth it trust me i think because this person i'm these people she's referring to in this video are no longer as powerful as they used to be they may be alive but i feel like a lot of them may have given their lives to christ or to whatever religion they belong they have chosen to just accept that life there is no shortcut and hurting other people for wealth is just not worth it and now what is left of them is the consequences of these actions the consequences of their actions and is rubbing on the shoulder of everybody from the same country they are from and yet we don't see the need to talk about it anytime anybody comes up to say oh please turn it down we regard that person as judgmental and wanting favor from other african countries it doesn't always have to be that way it doesn't always have to be that way some of us may be may not be feeling good about all the happenings in our dear nation but it doesn't mean that we don't believe in the country but it feels like sometimes we believe just that when you look around and try to talk about this to see if we can bring solution a lot of people get pissed off that you're saying that it simply shows that it simply means that nobody is ready for the truth and without the truth how do we go from here in the middle of nowhere where we are all at different airports sitting down and crying and it's making other african countries to want to distance themselves from us it doesn't go beyond some of the videos you see on youtube where people will claim that oh they love nigerians because of this but in reality it is not like that and majority of the time the people that face these consequences the people that suffer these consequences are nigerians of good repute nigerians of good behavior so it means that something is not right it is beyond accusing people who want to talk about it because of course before a doctor will commence treatment a very good doctor will want to examine you to get to know the problem and probably send you to a lab technician to get results from there to see what the problem is that way they can work with you know finding a solution for your problem then they prescribe and get to the pharmacy to get you the medication that will treat you and get you well that will get you well but without that it means you're not ready because how are they going to do it and this is the problem of our nigerians because and this is the problem of us nigerians and everybody just want to distance themselves from you nobody just wake up and hates on you for no reason maybe you are just suffering from the sins of another they know of before you came but you don't understand and i don't think it's a good thing no matter how much i sit down here talk about these issues do these videos when i leave this microphone and i step out there i am being treated as a nigerian whatever resentments people have towards nigerians they have it towards me regardless of if i have spoken about it or not of course you may see comments here at the comment section of people telling me oh we love you we believe in you it doesn't pass there in reality if some of these people don't know me when i go out there and they want to deal with me they will deal with me in accordance with the nigerian mindset to understand so we are all in this together when i do these videos don't get mad let us find a way out it's not right this is too much this guy did all these things and he got away with them at some point the people she's talking about in this video were accused of, of molesting a young girl back home in nigeria but the whole thing was swept under the carpet and we all pretended that mm, nothing happened and this is because we love the people's work we like their movie we enjoyed it we want it so bad and we are bragging about them we are proud of them oh they are out there they are the best in africa hey they are the best people are jealous of us because they are the best it's not always like that sometimes people doing things that you love shouldn't stop you from him still putting your eye on the ground if you have heard anything about them it's just like me now the fact that i may have been having positive reviews of ghana and of course 
a lot of people already know about my love for Ghanaians and Ghana still not an avenue for me to be allowed to just be doing things anyhow that are not in accordance with the law nobody should just ignore me maybe of course i don't think people are ignoring me see me like if i do anything wrong people will still notice it and they should act in accordance with that do you understand this video is flying this lady is speaking up and now the person she's talking about i went on instagram to check the person's page a lot of things have changed some years back things were not like that for that person i don't think she would dare come out to speak so everything we do has a consequences and if our people we shouldn't just worship our artists worship our movie producers worship our superstars worship our musicians without taking a back to check some of the accusation and allegation label against them at some point because see inside that smoke there's a truth behind the allegation at some point this video like i said is a three hour long video and the first few people that will click and maybe run out of data are going away with this impression of ghana ah she be on say for ghana they know they rape woman she be on say for ghana they know they do anyhow but this guy was here and you will be wondering why other african nations don't want to associate with us freely they love our music they want to enjoy it and some people are willing to do so from a distance you see our superstars that we love so much they are willing to just enjoy their music but we don't we they don't want anything more than enjoying their music to do with these people and do you still wonder why i see it's exhausting to be it, being a nigerian is actually a good thing because you are being taught to survive you are being taught about wrestling you are being taught about survivor you're being taught about you know just basically figuring things out for yourself but you suffer a lot and you suffer discrimination joy is still sharing her i i was looking for this babe i didn't know that she have you know sometimes our actresses you just don't understand what is going on what is happening and a lot of people have come out of nollywood to tell us the demonic things that do go down there in nollywood but we don't believe them because we feel like oh they are saying that because they are bitter they are saying that because they failed they are saying that because of whatever they couldn't fulfill their desire to become stars and now they are angry it's not like that to trust me too many stories from one industry i think it's about time as a nigerian you become careful for me i already told my kids i don't want them to have anything to do with acting i do not want my kids to have anything to do with acting be it in ghana nigeria or even in america i don't want it just basically not go into the acting industry i don't want you see people like regina daniels you see at some point i don't know who remembers when regina came up and was angry with her colleagues who allowed a young girl that she discovered in asaba nollywood to be there that she's, she's too young to be here is a dangerous environment why did regina said that and uh, regina's mom always abandoned whatever she was doing to make sure that she stands and watch her daughter act any of the production that regina is going into this woman will screen it and approve it or nothing it means that something is wrong and we need to start telling ourselves the truth and for those that are comfortable with married men you have a relationship with a married man and you see nothing wrong with it my sister is a red sign is it is a dangerous signal for a man to be able to just know that he's married but is very comfortable with you and he didn't tell you from the beginning you find out that he's a married man but he's willing to continue and you too you are willing to play along there are so many things that goes down there watch that lady's video if you can to the end you understand so many things if you have a child that wants to act please don't leave them alone go with them and make sure you guide them and protect them physically join with prayers because of course this is too much this is just too much and it comes back on me and you all for being nigerians and sometimes we sometimes these are things that we could have given our voices to to condemn and stop these people from doing these things anyways i'm just basically i'm done with this video i hope that i will see you in my next one bye